That's we got. It's like literally, that's master in the making right here. Nope. All right, starting out on uh, Twilight Spire, getting those. Oh, and it's Skipper. Oh, she's gonna throw me off the colors. All right, uh, textures <laughs> blue. All right. No, because they both normally play white. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So the, gen oh, okay. the gentleman's rules are you change, you both change colors, so it doesn't give one player an advantage. Okay. Um. So S Skipper's playing yellow. Texture's playing blue. Oh, trap chest! Watch out! All right, just playing, just playing the uh, feeling each other out. Uh, both of them being really smart right now. Ooh, but oh, but oh, right there, Texture on the offense, goes and it that. pays dearly for it. Co goes to that curb stomp off the off the ledge. Just yeah. All right, not going right. back in. You know, they both got wings, trying to fly. And oh, those actually fall down. Oh yeah, I, if, I, if, I, if they land on you, they kill you. Okay. So, but looks like both players are just trying to get those out of the way, make sure, get rid of that uh, stage hazard. We still haven't seen that last orb fall. What's gonna happen with it? Oh, nice catch by by Texter and just the uh, skipper takes advantage of that and tra traps him in place. Basically, your your way out is up. Yep. So no, that's two points in a row that he's go gone ahead. Trap texture right in the corner, you know, just stomp on him real quick. Oh. <laughs> no, just like that. You Trips gotta call someone out and be like, yo, you're not gonna catch this. Yeah, no, th it, the thing is, he bounced, he, when you dodge, you're invincible to, yep. to all damage. So you actually bounced off the ball and chain, and just like, okay, st there's still another arrow coming, what are you gonna do about it? Uh, and Texter's, oh, or <laughs> Skipper. <laughs> Skipper's just <laughs> has that shield control. <laughs> yeah, come on, go for it. All right. <laughs> nope. Yo, them angles. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he baited him so hard. It's like, I know you want this. Yeah. <laughs> Come and get it. Yo, put, put those hands in the cookie jar. <laughs> oh, and we are counterpicking to Cataclysm. Going to see some randomness tonight. Oh, what? It does, feel, it does feel Iron Man. Oh, stopping that Chaos Orb and skip. Or Texter is just uh, waiting for him to just... You come through? All right. Nope. No, you know, Texter taking it out of Skipper's book. You know, you know, those head bonks look good the last round. I'm gonna start doing it myself. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and uh, Skip Texter goes ahead and uh, activates slow motion, trying to. Skipper saves an arrow. Texter reloads. Oh, it has arrow revenge. Oh, gets through the screen wrap. And we're we're tied up again. No, no. Can we just appreciate the background right now? Oh yeah, the portal. <laughs> yeah, the portal is intense. Oh, infinite falling. Oh, that's those are scary. Anyone touches those or an arrow, and they will explode. All right, Skipper gets rid of one of them. Pick goes to reload a bit. But just like that texture, getting the arrow advantage. See how he's gonna really capitalize on it. Whoa! But definitely doesn't getting head bonked yet again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good uh, prediction arrow from Skipper as well. Shooting shooting his uh, his prism arrow out in the path of the uh, in the path of the the orb. So it's like you want to go that way. All right, you still have an, you still have a uh, orb coming with. Now the same time, just the movement being able to go ahead and slip through past the orbs that were falling yeah. down, getting in there, getting the bonk, and again right there, uh, Skipper just shooting all those arrows Ooh. again. More arrows coming in and taking out stuck. Texter, and if I'm not mistaken, this is this is it's pretty one-sided. Yes, yeah, it's no, it's, no, this is grand finals. We're going to round five right now. Oh, okay, I meant just for this game. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, protect those shields. Oh, Texter's now able to protect his. And Skipper is just like, okay, I like that hazard there. All right, now we're tied up in arrows. Oh, and above him, just trying to get nice a miracle. Oh, oh, great catch! <laughs> that was a yeah, great catch, and he's able to able to uh, pop up right in that perfect corner, able to shoot up, and just great match by uh, Doctor Skipper. No, of course, Skipper just taking complete control of this set already, up 2-0, and it looks like he's going to be stopping. And in those short moments where there's just a barrage of arrows, I think that's probably my favorite part of this game in my short amount of time watching. Definitely. Oh! Ooh. 
Getting yeah. hit by the thwomp block. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's, that's like a that's a time thing too. It's just like <laughs> you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, bro. But uh, Texer feels like this is his strongest counter pick map. So definitely, definitely uh, calls out Doctor Skipper on this one. It's like, all right, oh, man. Quick two points for Texer right now. So you know this counter pick is paying off so so far. All right, round three. We normally, we normally see some uh, center chest, but map says no. You're gonna you're gonna go back to uh, like Fox only final D moments right now. Whoop. No items. Te uh, and Skipper's just waiting for Texter to come down. That you know. Wait. Oh, Ooh. slipping in that quick arrow. Good stuff. No, honestly, just looking at this little area that Skipper is in right now, yeah. or that he was, that's basically no man's land. It's like, He's all right, once you commit to something, I'm going to be able to go ahead and get out or punish him. Oh, goes. But they both go for the stagger bolt arrow. Uh, manages to shoot the first one, but uh, second arrow? Nope. Try that miracle did not help him there. Ooh. Ooh. And just to destroy both boat arrows. But going to get caught right there. Going to get caught. See, so you can't, like, Texer is, is like the player you can't sleep on. Like, no. No, the other thing that I saw from Texer is that he, he is talking almost every game, either <laughs> complimenting you or be like, damn, you just bodied me. Like, real talk, that, that that is some psychological stuff happening. It's like, in your head, it's like, yo, is he actually just complimenting Dude, me? I'm straight up, straight up. You're not the only person to think that. <laughs> I, th I feel that as well. <laughs> That's like, text, dude, don't get me wrong. I love Texter. Yeah. I love him. But it's like, he, he's a chatty dude. Mm -hmm. Like, that's cool and all. It's great. It's, it's great. It's like when I, I look at him, I don't know if he means it honestly or if he means like, he's, I'm just, I'm really just trying to mess with you. He's complete comes by completely honestly. And it's, <laughs> it's, I'm not gonna lie, it, make, it makes for such fun games. Yeah. I love it. All right, but like, speaking of Texter, coming out, getting the first point. Classic, classic Fletcher counter pick here. Let's do straight up, straight up. So Skipper goes like practice Ooh. on this map. So he he will straight up like so like a screen wraps. Mm -hmm. This this map has feather arrows. So like they're not affected by gravity and they're super fast. Yeah. He just straight up practices that. He wow. he'll go you know, like for like two or three hours at a time, just like practice those catches. All right. Ooh, but you know that practice is not paying off Pro right now. Not, definitely definitely not. getting hit by that feather arrow right away. And you know what, Texter, you know he's trying to mount this comeback. Three points right away on Skipper's counterpick. He's, yeah, getting that disrespect to Iron Man on his own map. This, uh... Ooh! Oh. Going for that that uh, Hornet stagger. First arrow comes, puts him in hit lock, or stun lock. Second arrow's coming at you. Honestly, this adaptation from Texter right now is really paying dividends. <laughs> really close to just go ahead and evening up this set right now. All right, we have uh, matched up Feather Arrows. Oh! And uh, again, that practice is not paying off for Dr. Skipper, apparently. I don't know. Are you sure he was practicing catching these Feather Arrows? Uh, it looked it like he was practicing he has, these slow arrows. He has, gotten, he has gotten a new controller recently. He's, okay. he's recently switched you know, from... You know, he, he got to you go yeah. break it in. He, has, he sw recently switched from the 360 to the Xbox mode. Ah. And I know I was playing on it a little bit earlier. But like for this game, mostly most people play bombers. Like mm -hmm. just it's it's good feel. It's like hair trigger basically. But he plays he plays a style where he uses all four fingers. Right. Oh, he does all four. He does all four. Okay. But also like you have to on the Xbox controller, you have to move your whole hand up a little bit. So okay, getting used to that getting used to that feel maybe maybe doing it in for him. Yep. And you know that is six points in a row for Texter. Like, I'm not trying to say this man getting bodied, but he getting definitely getting worked right now. Exactly. Oh, I think uh, interesting. Texer Texer chose this, but uh, I'm sorry, no. Skipper told. Yeah, Skipper yeah. chose this. Yeah, this is a Skipper. Yeah, both both uh, Ascension and uh, and Flight. He considers are his two best maps. Okay. So oh, trying to trying to block off that that exit right there. And uh, nope. Oh. Ooh. Trying to hyper dash in. All right, but now Skipper's able to dash away. Oh, nice tink! No, no, Skipper right there taking advantage of the arrows that he did have over Texter, getting himself ahead finally after a couple of rounds. A couple of rounds, yeah. All 
All right, we have uh, bomb arrows on both sides. Both, oh, but getting caught in midair. Living, living true to the crew name. Crew name is uh, high FD. I fucking dashed. <laughs> uh, it's a curse and a blessing at times, yeah, isn't it? Exactly. All right, thank you, man. All right. And uh, going in again. Ooh, oh, missing the jump, but he's gonna get hit by an arrow. I think he actually managed to stall that out right there. Yep. That's that stall was uh like oh man crazy. No, both these players are showing up that they do. Oh, nice miracle! Oh. Just holding on to air advantage and uh, <laughs> the right right when it gets start right when it starts slowing down. Oh man! <laughs> I think that's the funniest thing I've heard in this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, bomb arrows. Bomb arrows. Not bomb arrows. Advantage of it, but oh, tossing out a bunch of arrows. Techs are unable to react to all of them. You yeah. can't catch them all. You can't. No. All right. So there's not 150. Uh, I believe Skipper is on game point right here. Uh, no, actually set point. So yeah, set point. Tournament point. Oh, tournament. Wow. Let's, let's get uh, serious right all now. All right. I mean, it's definitely getting serious. We are going slow. Yep. So, Siggy, I know you have a lot of experience here in this game. When it is slowdown mode, how does that affect you catching each arrow? Um, I believe the timing is doubled. So, like, uh, your normal your normal hyper dash is last um, ten or twenty frames. Okay. I believe it, it extends to forty, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Gotcha. All right, well, oh, we are all tied up. Tied now. up. This is reset and tournament point on each side for both of these players. And Who's gonna get wings. this point? Again, Skip, our Skipper practices with these wings all the time. He has he has that hyper flap down. Now, the last time you said he practiced with something, he definitely got bodied. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's see what's about to happen. Oh. oh, but you know, that practice finally paying off. Skipper slipping in there, getting that arrow, and getting this W. Uh, As y'all heard, Texan wanted it. Texan you know, wanted it. He definitely didn't get it. He was not able 